Hello dear people, big and small, this is your crazy auntie Frida calling from Reykjavik, Iceland at 7 in the morning and as you can see the stereotype is not true, we do have trees in Iceland, yoo-hoo! Today I want to state 10 facts that people who want or need to keep long-term contact with me have to work around together with me. As most of you know, I do have autism, ADHD and cerebral palsy, but due to the cerebral palsy, the invisible conditions are often ignored because it's well, so overly visible that I walk like a drunk camel on two sticks. So, um, fact number one. My behavior and my manner of talking is actually almost never congruent with my biological age. When I was a child, people often told me I was talking like an old lady. And now that I am a moderately old lady, I'm feeling like a big teenager. And I have a lot of crazy retro accessories. I have my very own structure of time and space. Other people often perceive this as total chaos, but actually there is a very silent, invisible, innate system to it and I appreciate if my contacts even close family members try to learn about that system that is usually very rewarding for both parties in a very funny humorous article about ADHD I read the other day that ADHD people are often very generous and willing to take risks. The truth is often I can't, at least in my case, overview a task. And yeah, let's see it as generous if I give you two birthday presents, but the truth is I probably have forgotten that I gave you the first one already. <clears throat> now I can't read my own handwriting here. I'll, I'll just show you my, my set list so you can see my handwriting too. That has a lot of loops. And a lady who does graphology, she actually says it has so many hollow rooms because I'm searching for something in my life. Of course, I'm always searching for something. Here, uh, one fun fact from the article that I read about ADHD was it's really typical that people lose something like keys, clothing or even the husband and find these things and people again after years and years. So especially in pen paling this can be like both a handicap and a really big plus. Uh, I tend to disappear and show up again after ages and I have lost many pen pals due to that but I also have gained a lot of pen pals due to that because uh, I'm getting a lot of letters like oh I'm so sorry I I couldn't write because of this and that and I know it has been two years but here I am again do you still want to write and yes of course I still want to write I love that you had took the time and courage to contact me again after two years. Please, people, write! It's nice! So, and if you want to write because it's so nice, um, you, you and I might want to know that a good friend uh, gets my feedback on the ground and sees the whole picture, that we should develop a contact or also an assignment if you're doing an art project together it should really be togetherness it should not be one person prescribing what we do next it should be us together 
sort of like a buffet. Everybody brings whatever he can or she or uh, other pronouns that you prefer. Everybody brings something, everybody takes something and we have to work with what is there and out of the resources that are there we have to develop something. Um, many people ask me, Why, what are you doing in Iceland? Well, truth is, I am in Iceland because I'm better at improvising than at planning. But I also have a huge plastic clock uh, that I mark my appointments on with washi tape because I'm the visual type. So Iceland gives me the space to develop organizational methods. And also it gives me, fun fact number seven, the space to believe in nature spirits and to live intact with that belief. And I find it very important that people respect each other's beliefs and find a common ground rather than differences. Then fun fact number, I don't know what we were on. I have a lot of artsy and emotional hobbies, but my friends give a lot of logical explanations that I also need a lot. And I hope we have come to number 10 now. Please don't take my counting to uh, literal. I like positivity but I have lived in Canada at some point where people preach to me that like attitude determines your altitude and everything has to be positive and if you are a frog and you fall into the milk then you have to paddle until the milk becomes cream. Um, life has taught me something different. different. Sorry. Of course positivity can get myself and probably others, to carry on for a long time. But uh, life is not all about light. It's light and dark and also twilight. And who should know that better than the people who live in Iceland with these uh, like white nights in the summer and this extremely long winter. So I need positivity and negativity in my life and I need my contacts and myself to be willing and able to talk about the elephant in the room. I don't know if all languages have this idiom, the elephant in the room, like in English. I've heard it and in Iceland it's uh, talk about the pink elephant in your living room. Tala um bleika fitlin i So yeah, let's talk about the pink elephant and let's do something constructive with the elephant rather than thinking, okay, this will improve if we'll just let her be. Let's work together. Come on, come on, let's work together. Bye bye and I hope to hear from you. Bye.